Hello everybody, this is Ryan Casey9OZA and today I'm going to show you how you can use your FTM 400 and a Windows tablet to create a portable eye gate. So first thing you need to do is go to APRS IS32 website and uh, my tablet is running Windows 10 so you would go to Windows 32 you will download that and then it will be a zip file so you will need to unzip the file into a new folder as I did here and then it will allow you to open up the APRS IS32 program Whenever you first set it up, it will ask you for your call sign and your APRS passcode. If you do not have your APRS passcode, you will need to get that before you can use IS32. So once you have that, you'll set that up. You'll enter in your information and then you'll place your icon at your location and once you do that you'll hit transmit then what you'll need to do on your 400 is you go hold down the display button you'll need to go to data so once you go to data you go to com port setting and you'll need to change the speed to 9600 baud and you need to change the output to packet once you have done that you go down here to data speed make sure your APRS in the US is 1200 baud and your data is 9600 baud once you have done that before you plug in your programming cable that came with your radio you will need to go to Yezu's website you'll click on products digital select the FTM 400 then you will go to files you'll scroll down here to the software and you will install the SCU-20 PC connection cable driver once you've done that you can plug in the cable into the radio and into your tablet. My tablet has the detachable keyboard so I can use the full size. You may need a adapter depending on your plug. Once you have that set up, you need to go to configure ports and you will select new port. It'll ask you the type. You'll scroll down. You'll select TM350. This is the Azu 350 radio. The 400 operates in the same manner. You'll name it, whatever you want to name it. I'll name it FTM 400. Then you'll hit create. And you will go to COM serial port. You'll need to figure out what COM port your programming cable is connected to. So mine is COM port 3. And then you'll need to select 9600 baud. These here, it doesn't really matter how they're set. You'll hit OK. It'll pop up here. You can select what you need. Uh, IS to RF does not matter because you cannot send internet data from the tablet to the radio to transmit it will only receive packets from the radio to the tablet so you don't need that checked uh, you need 1200 baud and then you'll go and select messages or any other 
information you want and then you will hit accept which since I've already set it up I'm not going to set up another one and once you do that you should start receiving information here so the ones here with the little asterisk beside them these are the ones that are coming through the RF signal of the radio so it's pretty easy to set up uh, something nice if you're on the go um, please don't look at the tablet while you're driving but I'm going to use this as a home setup and so this way I have a eye gate in my area I also have our local digipeter set up at a different location here so uh, there's a something you may not have known that you could do with your FTM 400 if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and stay tuned to our channel for other videos on things you can do with the FTM 400 thanks for watching and 73s